everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie and today I'm going to show you an updated version of my witchy wardrobe. Now in the past I've done a couple hippie minimalist wardrobe videos. Now obviously my style has slightly changed since then. I'm not really uh, that hippie-ish anymore, I guess. I've gone the more sort of witchy cottagecore way. I don't have dreadlocks anymore, although I still live my life by those sort of that mindset I guess. So I'm going to show you my favorite picks from my personal wardrobe and divide them in four categories. So obviously we start off with the tops, then we have the pants, then we have the jumpers or hoodies and then we have the shoes. So without further ado let's get started. Now, funnily enough, the first top that I will be showing you is the one that I'm currently wearing. It is from Tree of Life. Recently, they released some sort of witchy wardrobe collection. I especially love the details like the candle, the bat, the rose, the spider webs, all the little witchy elements to it are super cute. Next up, I have this little top here. It is a little bit more cottage core. Also from Tree of Life, I actually got that as a bargain in the sale. It is a very cute light rayon top as well. It never used to be my style, but now I've been really, really into this kind of um, vibe. I like the little tie top so you can make it an off the shoulder top or just a cute little top that you can dress up or wear casually in summer. You might have seen me wear this guy before. It is a sari top, which is made from recycled materials. It is a very, very nice rayon feel and super breezy in summer. The cool thing about this one as well is that you can wear it in two different styles. So you can tie it in the middle or you can tie it at the back. So it is a little bit more coverage, I guess. Now, obviously, if you have, you know, bigger boobs like myself, it can be quite revealing, but in summer it works pretty well. Next up is one of my other favorites. It is this Killstar Pentagram Lacy Top. It is super cropped. I really like the pentagram design on the top and it is really comfy to wear. I like wearing this both dressed up or super casual as well. My favorite part of it is, is that the top is sort of cropped, but then the lace is a little bit longer at the bottom. So it does, it's a very flattering design when you wear it. Next is this one from Tree of the Life, one of my absolute favorites as well. It is a rayon top, super breezy in summer, really, really soft material. I love wearing this. And it just looks really cute on shorts or longer pants. You can dress it up if you want. Now it is the middle of winter and in these videos I'm wearing the shorts just for sort of demonstration purposes a lot, but nothing is more important than having a turtleneck in winter. I love wearing these, they're super comfy. They keep me very warm and they just look really, really cool and super witchy, especially if you layer it with some uh, necklaces and you wear some long coats or some long jumpers with it. It is the best thing ever. Now, every wardrobe needs a stock standard white shirt whether it be linen, rayon, cotton. Also from Tree of Life, of course, most of my clothes are from there because a lot of it is quite ethically made and it's just really good quality and just feels really nice on the skin, especially if you are sensitive like me to synthetic fabrics. So a beautiful white shirt like this is definitely not to be missed. Now moving on to the pants, the ones that you saw me wearing in the video are these corduroy pants by Princess Highway. I bought them from Dangerfield. They are my favorite corduroys ever, super comfy. They shape really well to my body. And unlike a lot of flares, these guys are not super long and wide. So they don't drag on the floor, or they're not necessarily annoying. So these guys are definitely a must. The only thing I will say is, as you can see in some of the videos, a lot of dirt gets stuck to it, which is pretty annoying sometimes. The next pants that I have are probably my second favorite ones and they are always super popular when I wear them outside. I do get a lot of compliments. These pants here by Too Fast Apparel. They are sort of zodiac pants. They're quite a stretchy material and they are wide as well. 
and they make my butt look really good so I think that's a bonus. A couple of my staple wardrobe pieces that I use for work as well are these sort of skirts. It does have a little bit of a dark academia vibe, which is sort of what I'm going for, a witchy dark academia. It's got a belt that you can basically take out if you want and you can pop something else in. This is from H&M. I got it in the sale at some point and it is a super flattering look, so I love it. And the last skirt I have, which is one of my favorite, is this cute little daisy skirt. I do only wear it in summer because it is quite thin, unless you wear really thick tights with it and big boots. That was about it for the skirts. Let's just move on to the jumpers now. This is a jumper that you will probably see a lot in my videos because I love wearing it. It's super comfy and it's really, really warm. And it is my crystal ball knit. This one here is from Dangerfield. I think the brand is actually called Black Friday. They're quite expensive, but they're really good quality. They're full cotton. I like the fit of it as well. This is a size small. It is quite tight at the bottom, so you can tuck it in or you could probably leave it long if that's what you prefer. This jumper here is a bit of a hit and miss. Some people love it. Some people absolutely hate it. Sorry, I had to let Salem in because it started raining outside and he wanted to come in. So he's now chomping away on his food. So hit and miss, it's my sun and moon jumper from Ganda. It is very sort of retro vintage style shape and you know, some people think it's cool, some people think it's absolutely ugly, so. But I love it, I wear it casually most of the time, so when I go to the gym, I don't really dress it up or anything, but I think it's pretty cool, so I don't really care. <laughs> My last jumper is this beautiful earthy color sort of knit. I love it so much because it's a very soft sort of material. It is slightly synthetic, so it's it's not the best, the best quality, but it's pretty warm and it looks pretty cool. I love earthy tones. It's very hard because I either like really dark purpley colors or blue or sort of earthy, which obviously doesn't really go together, but thankfully I have enough stuff that I can switch it up completely. Salem just finished eating and I'm pretty sure he got stung by a bee, so his mouth is pretty swollen. It's happened a few times now. Thankfully, I know that he's not allergic to them. He does some stupid stuff outside. The last piece I have is my black sort of cloaky long jacket by H&M. It's actually really cool because it is a woolen jacket. That's why it's quite expensive, but it is a long black coat. I think it is a staple piece, especially for your witchy wardrobe. It is very important, I believe. You just look mysterious and cool. Last but not least, we are moving into to the shoes section. We are nearly there, don't worry. I don't have that much to say anymore. <laughs> Starting off with these guys here. They're called the Zodiac Boots by Koi Footwear. They're quite popular actually, but I love these. They're super comfy. As you can see, the heel isn't that high, so you can walk in it for hours. I took it away with me for work last week and I was fine. I could stand in it for hours and hours and walk around in it for hours and hours. I particularly love the design in it. You, you can get them in a gold or a silver color, but I decided to go with the gold just because I like that earthy stuff a lot better. My next pair of shoes boots are these little cool open toed heels by Public Desire. Now I did get these of Dolls Kill way before all this controversial stuff happened with them. I don't buy from them anymore but I did buy from them before then and honestly this is the best boot ever for a night out. It's super cute. I love this boot so much. It's quite sort of rock and roll. I'm really into it. I love the open toe and the open back as well. It makes it very breezy as well in summer, which can get very, very hot here, of course. And the heel isn't too bad either. It is more like a platform, so it's super comfy, actually. These are some of my favorite boots for work. They're quite small heels and just a really plain boot. I think in a witchy wardrobe, this is one of the most important pieces. You just want a plain black boot. Now I'm planning to get some more like really pointy black witchy ones, but this one kind of does the job for now. To be honest with you, you can get these anywhere. I got these from Big W, which is basically the same as Target or Kmart. They're pretty cheap shoes and they've lasted me three years already. They're pretty good quality and I probably paid what $20 for them at the most so 
pretty cool boots. The next boot isn't really a witchy boot, but I love wearing it regardless. They are my actual cowboy boots. These are real brand Loritos, so they're super expensive. They're obviously real leather as well and actual riding boots. So I do plan to use this for when I go riding as well. But I love, love, love the shape of them, the design on them, the fit, just everything. They are pretty trendy to wear on a night out or just when you feel like looking cool. Now that was sort of all the clothing I have that I wanted to show you that was worth showing you. They are my favorite pieces that I wear on a daily basis because they sort of help me feel like myself and they make me feel pretty but powerful at the same time. And sometimes when I lack motivation, especially at work, it just feels good to to look nice and to to feel like you've done some effort so I really hope you enjoyed this video showing you my favorite pieces and let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and what you would like to see next thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video